very first step I want to have is a drop down list for the ID type. To achieve so, I will just select the range or the places I want to have drop down list. Then I go to data. Then I go in towards the right side, you will see there's a group called data tools. Inside of it, you will see there's something called data validation. Click on this and I want it to be allowed the list. And because the type I have is only NRIC, that means National Register Identification Card, comma, passport. I only have these two types. I press OK. Now you can see a drop down list. It have two. So as and when I key in the ID A123, if I change to a different ID type, I will expect the ID number to be wiped off. When I press passport, it doesn't change. So now I want to bring you to now I want to use another method to automatically reset the ID number. First, I will go to developer. Going towards the left side, you will see there's a button called Visual Basic. When you use your mouse to point at it, you will see there's something called Visual Basic with the open and close parentheses alternate X11. That is the shortcut key you could use. If you do not see developer tab and you want to bring it out, very simple, you could just right click on any of the ribbon, select customize ribbon, and you will see on the left side there's a something called developer. Just make sure you have a checkbox on it and press OK. Now I want to use the keyboard shortcut to go to Visual Basic Editor by pressing alternate F11. Inside here, you will see there's a options here, they have a lot of blanks. And on the top left, you will see there's something called Project Explorer. If you do not see this, you could just go to View. There's a something called Project Explorer. The keyboard shortcut is Control R. So now I would go to the sheet one, which is the data entry sheet will be. I could just double click. Inside here, you will see most likely it's a blank. And I want to have the control on the worksheet itself. So therefore, I will change the general to worksheet. And because the event is only as and when the data changes, I will want to change the procedure to change. So inside here, you will see this argument called target. Target is the place or the object it identifies what has changed or where is the location and so on. So now I want to have a checking. The changes is only valid for the very first column. So therefore, I want to have a if. If target dot color equal to 1, then I will complete the block with an if. And if it's something simple, it's not necessary to have a space in between them. I could type the whole thing and if. So once I go up, you can see and if it breaks down into two words. So after that, I press tab to have an indentation. And I want to reset the cell next to it, which is the one column towards right side. I will say target dot offset open parenthesis. You can see that the row offset is highlighted. Whenever the row goes down, it will positive number. Whenever the row goes up, it will be negative. On the same row, it will be zero. The comma same goes with the column. Whenever the column going towards right side, it will be positive number. When the column going towards the left side, it will be negative. When it's on the same column, it will be zero. So this is one column towards right. So therefore, I will have one close parenthesis equal double quote, double quote. So this is how it will reset the column next to it. So now I want to go back to the Excel by pressing alternate F11. It will bring you there. Let's do a simple test. I will select to NRC and key in B123. When I change it to some other ID type, it will wipe off as well. This is how we are able to use Excel and we are a little bit macro or VBA and you are able to achieve another awesome level just by using Excel alone. If you are benefiting from this video, I would love to have you to share this video to your friends and colleagues so that they are able to learn this simple stuff and make their life much more easier. And my name is Tai, your Excel Sifu from YXL.